Here's a question. Can your ego handle someone being honest with you? Because when I look back at one of the reasons my relationship failed, I can see now I wasn't actually being honest with my partner and I wasn't encouraging their honesty either. So let me ask you, this might seem like a dumb question, but is honesty a characteristic of your relationship? Are you both being honest? And I don't mean blurting out every thought that comes in your head. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying maybe you used to be honest, but now you've stopped expressing your feelings or desires or hurts because they've shown you over and over they aren't a safe place for you to share. They punished your vulnerability, didn't they? And I'm just warning you, if honesty isn't encouraged on either side, that affects everything. Trust, intimacy, friendship, desire. They all suffer, don't they? So let's get back to the basics. We love this person, right? We value them, right? We respect them. Let's encourage honesty. Let's make sure we aren't silencing them or that they don't feel silenced. In so many relationships, you're both terrified and you don't even know it. One of you is terrified to show up and express a hurt and the other is terrified that they're the source of their partner's pain. You're scared to be seen as a failure. Nobody ever told you that you're allowed to make mistakes and take accountability and that you'll still be loved. In fact, that makes people feel more safe with you. Dismissing them or invalidating them or not wanting them to share something, that's what creates the distance and the disconnection that you fear. So let's be honest. Let's ask each other, are you sometimes scared to tell me how you really feel? Are you scared that if you take accountability, I'm not going to love you anymore or I might see you as a failure? Do you feel like I actually encourage you to be honest with me? And ladies, I pick on men a lot, so let me pick on you for just a second. He might accidentally be vulnerable and give you some information that from his perspective, you've been critical or passive aggressive or blaming or negative when you've expressed your feelings in the past and that he's felt a little rejected. Please don't immediately say, no, I don't do that. I can't even believe that you would say I do that. No, because that's invalidating his experience and showing him that you're not interested in listening to him. You're doing the exact thing that you hate when he does to you because it's hard to listen to someone else's negative feelings about you. But it's important. So let's both practice being open and curious and reflecting back what the other person is feeling and try to come to a common agreement on how to invite and accept honesty from both partners in the future.